Given your experience, what makes a successful entrepreneur um, in, ter in terms of mindset, um, decision making, taking risks, and everything, the whole package? So entrepreneurs, in my view, are all in. What that means is when they focus on something, they go all in with their mind, with their body, with everybody around them. So what does that mean? It's 24-7. It's seven days a week, six and a half with a bit of rest. Uh, it's attracting everybody around you towards that uh, uh, mission. So it would be, for example, I want to deliver X to a customer. I will, I will make sure the team is around me driving towards it. My friends and family are driving towards it. My, my entire ecosystem around me is working towards that. So you bring leadership skills, you bring execution skills, you bring motivational skills, you bring a, a, a drive, a passion towards it, and a lot of stamina. This is not something that can be done without stamina. A typical entrepreneurial journey has two phases. And within those two phases, there's lots of, let's say, ups and downs. Phase one, which I call zero to one, and phase two, which I call one to 100. So the zero to one typically takes 10 years, 10 years. This is when you, you are a hustler. As an entrepreneur, you're very good at hustling. You, you figure a way to, to make the product work. You figure a way to build customers. You figure a way to attract employees. You figure a way to attract funding for your, for your startup. You figure a way to adapt the product to the needs of the customer. And all of that is hustle, hustle, hustle. At some point, year 10, now obviously year 10 is a, it can be a six for some people, can be a three for some people. But at year 10, you hit what's called the hustle limit, which means you've done a really good job. Business is flourishing, customers are flourishing, but it cannot be a hustle. You cannot deliver everything yourself. You have to corporatize quite heavily. Now the governance and the rules and the systems and the processes come in and, and the big company kind of feel comes in and you gotta allow a lot more leverage from the people around. So that's phase two, this, the one to hundred. Different kinds of entrepreneurs. If you didn't fail at the phase one. Exactly. Most of them, they fail in the first, uh, second year. hundred percent. So I would say you hit the wall a hundred times along the way. Mm -hmm. And first is, can you pick yourself from the wall? When you hit it, it's a bit like a Formula One driver. You hit it, you get up, and you try to fix the car, and you, and you move on. And you have the mechanics around you, and you have the team around you to help you fix the car. But you also say, am I going the right route? Did I make a mistake? Do I learn from that mistake? Do I, not, uh, do I focus on the right way? And do I have the funding? Is somebody paying for me to fix the car when I make mistakes? Because if you don't have the funding, it's not going to happen. And that funding comes if you if you have the charm, passion, and also you're chasing the right goals. So obviously the entrepreneur must be technically smart enough to understand, is this space moving what I call again, taking it like a, if you're surfing a big wave, you wait for the wave to come and then you surf it. Then you need to know how to surf it, but you also need to know that you're in the right place where the big waves are coming. If you're just waiting in a flat place and there are no waves, you've got nothing to surf. Or if you miss the wave, is there a next one coming? Or if you crash on that one, can you pick yourself up, put, a, put on the new shoes and, and get back on it? So. It looks harsh. It is harsh. So it's not for everyone. Because I think in our generation and younger generation, are, we are all dreaming about being in the boss of me, yeah. like building our own business and everything. Um, but it seems hard. It is. It, it, it's rewarding. It's rewarding on, along the journey. It rewards every time you have a win. It can be a small win like your first customer or the first time the product come, came out of the factory. Uh, it, it, those are small wins. But those wins result, you, you feel so good about it. It's better than being in a company. It's like, it's a result. It's a real result. It's like, you know, when a kid takes his first step or her first step, it's that kind of feeling. So those things keep the motivation and up. And, and it's not just the entrepreneur who feels it is an entire team around him or her. So it's not for everyone. <laughs>